In this video, I'll show you how to insert page break in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and tutorials on how to use Calc software. So let's hover to my second sheet. Here I just have a table of books and prices. So we'll start by looking at the print preview. So currently my whole table will fit on one page. But if I wanted to, I could insert page breaks so it cuts off at a specific row or specific column. I just close out of the preview. So to do this, I can just click where I want the break to go. And here I'm selecting row 8. So the break will be inserted between row 7 and 8. We can go to Sheet and choose Insert Page Break. And here I get the option of row break. I don't have the option of column break, but I'll get to that in a minute. So I'll click this. Now if we go to the print preview, so we see that the book and the author ends at Roger Dawson. And that's what I expected. To insert a column break, I can select where I want the break to go. So here I'm selecting column C and the break would occur between column B and C. So again, go back to sheet, choose insert page break, and now column break is available. The reason why it wasn't available before when I chose column A is because it wants to insert the break to the left of my selection. Since column A doesn't have anything before it, it wasn't available for me to choose. I'll go ahead and click. So now the column break is inserted. Now if you notice, there is a dotted line vertically to indicate where the page break is. So I'll go back to print preview. And we see the column for price no longer is shown. And I only have book title and author. So if I want to undo my page breaks, I can always go to edit and undo or back to sheet and I can choose delete page break. But just make sure that the selection is in the right spot where there is a page break adjacent to the selection. Here I'll delete my column break and to delete the row break, I'll select a cell right under the row break. Now go to sheet, delete page break and choose row break. Now I've deleted both row and column breaks. I'll go back to print preview so back to how it was in the beginning where my whole table is displayed and if I print it on a piece of paper it will show all three columns and all of my books as well. So that's it for today's quick tip. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and as always stay nifty.